Luke Swanson from Living the Dream Guide Service. Today's video, we are going over the SS Minnow. This is a fly that I designed for smallmouth and largemouth all the way from the beginning of May all the way through the middle of September. Anytime you find fish that are shallow and looking for bait fish type patterns, this is a great pattern to throw to them. It's an articulated fly, two hooks, couple shanks, and super easy to tie and it's fast and very, very effective. So starting out, our first hook is a B10S, size number one. From there, we're using 140 thread. Get that guy wrapped on. You don't wanna to wrap too far back on this back hook. And then we are going to use some white saddle hackle. And I like to start out with two of them, one on each side going back you're gonna tie it in more towards that front of the eye right there. And I like to have it farther forward because this back hook is designed to get those fish that nip on it. You know, those fish in the springtime like to nip. They're not super aggressive sometimes, those post front days. So I'm running two on each side of the shank here to give it a nice little tail. Tie those in and clip it off. And from there, I like running lateral line scale flash. Just a couple strands, not too much, but it'll give a little bit of flash in the very back of it. Lay that right over the top. Same length as your saddle hackle you put in. Put it once down, flip it over, Tie it in again and then clip off whatever's overhanging there. So that's the tail, super simple. Now we are going to the brush of choice. And from there we're gonna, these are size two, two inch brushes. Come in a big long strip like this. Super, super easy to tie in. Tie that in. And I like to use this vise and just wrap it right around a couple times around all the and you're just working your way up to the front of the eye do that a handful of times and then you're going to tie it off and clean it up in the front and then just a super fast knot in the front and you are good to go from there and add just a little bit of hard as hall super glue on the front of it lock in those that thread and we are done with the back portion now we are moving on to a shank i like using these shanks right here three quarter inch shanks we're going to attach this right to the front re-hook it up there we go let's tie in the second portion now Get this started by locking down, put a nice thread wrap down, holds the fibers in and gives that brush something to stick to. So I'm gonna use the two inch brush, just like we did in the back for this section. And all we're doing is putting in another chunk of this brush and wrapping it around. We're just wrapping it forward. Then once you get up to the eye, tie it off again. Give it some good pressure so that brush isn't gonna wrap around, unravel on itself. Clip it and tie it off. Make sure she's nice and locked down again. There we go. Part number two, that's already done. Super fast, effective fly here, guys. Little dab of glue again. Here we go. Third section coming up. Throw just a super fast knot on here. There's glue on there, so it's gonna lock all those fibers together. I'm gonna unravel it all. Clip that off. Third section, we're doing another shank just like we did three quarter inch shank. This fly's gonna come out awesome, guys. Here 
we go. Put another wrap a thread down, clip it, and here's where we, we're gonna change it up a little bit. We're still gonna use the two inch brush going forward, but we're only gonna do half of it in this two inch brush. So wrap that guy in, work it around to about that halfway mark. And here, we're gonna tie it in. Tie that guy in, clip it off. Now you're gonna use that same brush, but in a three inch version, just a little bit bigger. We wanna make that profile that slims down in the, slims down in the back and make, look as big and beefy in the front and has a lot of weight in the front and then helps that fly move side to side in the water to give a nice presentation. So we're gonna tie this chunk of three inch in and from there, we're gonna do just a couple wraps. This is gonna help transition into the next chunk we're gonna put in. Wrap that in, make sure it's attached good. Put that to the side and clean up the front of it. And there we go. We already got that nice taper building here on this fly, guys. Throw a couple knots in here. And a dab of glue. There we go. So, that's our back section. We are moving up to the front hook. And this hook is a B10S one-aught hook. I'll show you guys how I like to tie this in. Instead of using wire or braid or mono, I like to use another chunk of these shanks. It doesn't give a weak link, wire, braid, anything like that, that's gonna wear out over time. So if you put in a steel shank like this is, tie that guy in, that's the last thing that's gonna wear out. You make sure that thing's locked in good. It's got plenty of glue on it. And that fly is gonna get destroyed or bitten off or casted off before the fly actually gets destroyed or the joints break on it. So we'll put a good thread wrap down. We got this shank already on the front of it. We're gonna set it in right on the side and tie it in so it's connected just before the curve of the hook there. So it's still got nice, good motion. It's gonna move around plenty good. It's got a nice strong connection. Wrap that guy up. Then we're gonna add just a dab of glue on there. I like adding some glue and then rewrapping it on. All right, so we added the glue there. Now we're just gonna add some more thread on there to help lock it all in. And that isn't gonna go anywhere. Put some more thread on the front so you're ready when we add more. And that's our fly so far. Spread that glue around a little bit. Now we're gonna grab the three inch brush again. Tie that in in the very back right about where the barb is on this hook. Tie that in, wrap it forward about halfway up the shank because we're gonna change colors. You could finish it in all white. You could do a different color, but we're gonna add a three inch version of this in tan. So, let's wrap this guy forward quick. All right, about halfway forward, we're gonna tie this in. it off. There we go. Got a nice, nice profile going. And now we're gonna add this tan. Same brush going all the way through. You just want to add a bigger brush as you go forward to give it that nice taper. It looks good, looks like a true bait fish, but it also adds more weight up front 
to help that fly glide side to side. There we go. We're leaving just a little bit of room because we're going to finish this fly off with some dubbing. All right, so we got our brown collar put in here. One thing I like to add is just a little accent feather. So we're gonna put two of these feathers in there. One on each side. So I'm gonna lay it right down the side just like that. Tie it all in. Make sure it's straight on there. That looks good. Add the second one on the other side. There we go. Now we got a collar on both sides. From here, we're gonna be adding some laser dub. This is gonna add a little bit of weight. It's gonna make it clean up the front really nice. We're gonna use just a nice chunk like that. Cut it at just about in half, maybe a little more two thirds. Tie the top in, grab a little more. And we're gonna tie the bottom in. You wanna kinda of keep your fingers together when you push on it like this because you just want that dubbing on the top and on the bottom and it helps keel that fly and make it shoot side to side. So throw in a couple nice loops to secure it. And then you're gonna push it back, push both sides back. I'm just cleaning up the front now. There we go. I like running a brush over this guy. Cleans it up nice. Makes it look good. Gives it that nice profile. From there, we're going to just add another quick knot. All right guys, that's basically the fly there. Looks really nice, good taper on this. To finish it off, we're gonna add some eyes. These are size 10 millimeter eyes, and we're gonna use some Loon Hard as Hull to finish it off. Just make it nice and even. I like to put a little dab on there. To its spot right where we put the dubbing as well as that feather we set in. Make sure it's even up and down. We're gonna put in the other eye. Make sure they're both even lined up. Just give it a second to set up. Lock in tight. You can use UV for this. You can use hard as hull, whatever your favorite super glue is to attach eyes, but just adding some hard as hull. Works good for me. We'll add just a little bit more around the eyes as well. Putting it in to lock them in to make sure they don't go anywhere. One side. There's the other. So that's it guys, the SS Minnow. Love using this fly for all small mouth, large mouth. We'll use it sometimes for pike, but it's just a super fishy fly. Doesn't hold a lot of water, sheds water very easily. Got a really heavy head up front to help that, you know, fly glide side to side. It's got a nice taper right here on the front of it here, articulated so you get all the movement 
you know, and not much of a fly in the very back, you, you know, with a single hook fly with a lot of material hanging off the back, you know, you get short strikes and you just miss those fish. With this fly, you miss very few fish because of that second hook in the very back. So add the slide to your arsenal and hope you guys enjoyed the video and get out fishing and hopefully you guys enjoy throwing this fly for big smallmouth or largemouth. Thanks for watching.